So what is a niche? A niche is what makes your art stand out. It's what makes your art unique and it makes it instantly identifiable. Um, so every successful artist has, uh, or every recognizable artist has a niche. Um, a good example is Cause. He's a graffiti artist in New York City. And he also uses these like, um, this little character of a skull head with like X's as the eyes and Disney gloves. And he puts it in all his art and he can make other characters turn into this character that he has. Um, another good example is one of my favorite artists is Pichi Avo. There are two um, graffiti artists from Valencia. And what they do is they always put like graffiti art and then put on top of it uh, Renaissance sculptures. So it's like classic Renaissance sculptures in a graffiti style. Like it's these vibrant colors and then it's got like the soft colors of the marble and it looks really, really cool to worth checking out. So like, why should you bother doing a niche or like, just, just why like? Um, one makes you instantly recognizable. Uh, so like if someone's walking down the street and they see you, your art they can say oh that's your art because they know that that's what you do if it's the style if it's the subject for whatever reason they know it's yours and um, and then even if your name's not on it they can be like oh that's that's a that's that person's and then you get recognition for your work Um, so recognition is one two you get really really good at whatever you specialize in so if you're always like doing renaissance sculptures you can if you're always painting them and drawing them you get really really good you can do them with your eyes closed um, and then if you're always doing spray cans then you get really good at spray spray painting um, so there's a third reason that would be worth doing it and that is it gets you more creative um, there's a boy called Phil Hansen and he's a really good quote it basically says um, we first need to be limited before we can become limitless um, so if you're an artist and you don't have limits, you don't know what to do because you've got too much to choose from. But as soon as you give yourself some limits, then that's when you get some ideas. Um, so it's not until you put yourself in a box that you get creative. So like if you are someone, just for example, if you're someone who always does elephants, then you have to start thinking of how I can do elephants. But if you're given like a blank canvas, you're kind of like what to do. Um, so yeah, the three reasons why you want to have a niche is you want to do recognition for your work, you want to specialise in something because then you get really good at it and then you get like far better than anyone else. And then three, it actually makes you far more creative when you're setting yourself like limits and then you have to create art within them limits. So it's not until like you know the rules of a game before you can play the game and have fun with the game and you know start bending the rules even like, but right. So the bigger question is, how do you find your niche? Um, so the this is a bit of a trickier one, but like what I have found is you, I haven't, I'm still finding mine. So this is a question which I'm currently working on at the moment. This is why I'm doing this video. But uh, from watching lots of YouTube videos and studying lots of other artists, like there's a few things that I notice. So. There's another TED talk and it's basically, I can't remember who it was, it might have been, I'll link it uh, after in the video, but he talks about having a broad range of skills before you define yourself. I'm reading uh, Anthony Kiedis' book, he's the lead singer of the Chili Peppers at the moment, and like, this is a good example because I'm like 100 pages in and he hasn't started singing, I'm like, when's this dude going to start singing like, because um, you're like, how does he, has he forgot to mention it in the book? But he doesn't start singing, singing until he's finished college and someone asks him here, do you want to sing for this band? But he developed a broad, a broad range of skills before that. Like he was always dancing at clubs. He was acting. He was actually really good at school. So he was really into poetry and writing. He was always into drawing. He was into punk. So he'd, he'd like developed like all these broad range of skills. So when someone asked him to sing, he had a style, he had something unique, he had something to build on. So, you know, he wasn't just going to be on the singer and then what we sing about. He already had all that developed, so when the opportunity came, he had something. Um, 
so then the other thing is you just have to kind of create 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 and hope that you find it um was well, steve Jobs is a really good quote it is you can't join the dots looking forward you can only join the dots looking backwards and basically he says that you have to trust that it's going to work out you have to trust in your gut you have to trust in your instinct or you have to trust in something that it will work out and if you keep creating and keep creating when you look back you'll find oh wait, i'm starting to see a pattern here i'm starting to see something stand out and that's what makes me unique but like the beatles they didn't actually they didn't find their song or their style for a long long time and like malcolm gladwell talks about it in his book outliers so it's the 10,000 hour rule the beatles were they were like doing 12 hour sets of covers at a strip club in germany and it's true constantly playing music and trying things and building this broad range of skills and techniques that you actually will find your own your own um unique style so then the other thing is you have to see all your all your limits not as limits but as guides so if you can't do oil painting good that's grand maybe you can only do acrylic then all of a sudden you have set yourself i can only do acrylic there's a limit i'm going to do acrylic if you can't do painting and you can only do pencil then you're just gonna to have to specialize in pencil but don't see your limits as problems just see them as like this is going to take me down this unique path because other people are going to do the oil painting other people are going to do this other people are going to do that and whatever it is that you do or can do that's what's going to make you stand out if you keep doing it that way um what was the other useful things broad um just picasso he made a thousand eight hundred and eighty five paintings and then i heard an interesting one by john peterson was talking about the prices law and basically it's a square root of the number of people in an organization produce 50 percent of the work so he also says this works across all creative endeavors so if a singer um the square root of the number of his songs will be 50 percent of his plays so if he does a thousand eight hundred and eighty five songs in his life then around i think it's just quick maths 47 is roughly will make up 50 percent of his plays so you have to produce 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 so then this is where it kind of comes like a positive feedback loop cycle if you have a niche then you are more creative and you produce more so if you're producing more you're going to get your 10,000 hours and then you're going to find your like um niche again so then i'm going to start trying this like this these paints are constantly with panthers sorry it's swinging around um, I'm going to try constantly make paints with panthers because it's going to allow me to then like if it already has it started for me to like open up my mind to like right if I constantly put this panther in my paintings I can start thinking of all these ideas of like how do we get the panther in I can put it in other artist style and that means I can learn so yeah so if you want to if I want to make 47 amazing paintings in my lifetime like amazing amazing paintings i need to do 1885 paintings um so and then it's kind of like the other thing it's um in harry potter it's like the one chooses the wizard so but in in harry potter harry tries out a bunch of ones and they all go wrong and they all fail but then he finds the one that sticks from and works for him so basically it's about what i'm gonna what i'm trying is because like i'm still learning but this is me trying to find my niche so i'm going to set myself limits i'm going to use this panther character and i'm going to try make as much art with this little panther character as i can and then i'm just going to paint 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 hopefully i'll see something and um, and then we'll see what happens out of that so I hope this helps other people maybe try find their niche and yeah okay i think that's everything that i wanted to say um i have one or two notes so i'm just going to see if there's anything else um no that's really it so um 
good luck. I hope everyone finds their niche and just keep painting or singing or whatever your art is. Just keep doing it and doing it and doing it. And then hopefully you'll look back and you'll you'll see that you've actually created something. But unless you're creating, unless you're doing it, you'll, you'll never know. So best luck, everyone.